How's it going guys? My name is Joe Vieira with the Musician's Lounge. Welcome to the channel. Today I have a special treat for you. I'm showing uh, a new interface that I purchased about six months ago. I did an open box of this audio interface and this is by Sterling. This is the H224. Really, really good interface and I want to talk about that. Talk about that today. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next video. And I highly recommend you guys watching the open box video of the Sterling H224 audio interface by clicking the card above. Watch, watch that first, then come back and watch this video. So let's get started and I wanna discuss my opinion, kind of go over a few things, uh, let you guys know how good this audio interface really is after using it for six or seven months. So let's go talk about it right now. Okay, so I'm sitting here at my desk looking at the Sterling H224 audio interface. And like I said, I did an open box of this item. And I wanted to give my second review on this and talk about the uh, software that comes with this. Uh, of course, you come with a free, it comes with a free recording software, but I'm talking about the, the control panel that controls this. And you're able to see see it on the screen in front of you on your computer so anything you do on here any buttons you press corresponds with the control panel on your screen so we're going to talk about that right now okay first thing as you notice there's three tabs up here and we're going to talk about that but first i want to talk about the the buttons and stuff how everything any anything i do on here reacts to what is going on in the background in my computer on in the software itself the control panel software so if i press this button you'll see it lights up green right here if i press this one it lights up green that's channel two channel one channel two here's the high pass filter for channel one high pass filter for channel two you click on this it mutes it and you can see it it's red right there it's muted unmute and then if I want to press the direct button it shows it right there if I want to go to my output I can change it to headphones and you can see see it change right there on the screen there's headphones there's channel 3 and 4 there's channel 1 and 2 so that's pretty cool. So anything you do on here shows up on the screen. Now if I do uh, the opposite and I'm over here using my mouse on my screen, channel one, I clicked on it and you can see it's lit up right there. And I'll watch it disappear when I click off. See, go to channel two, click, it's on. You can see it there, off. So that's pretty cool. And, and same with the filters. If I click the filter, it'll show up on here. Filter off, filter on for channel two, off. So that's pretty cool. So that is nice to have because I usually have this running in the background in my DAW and if I ever need to change the configuration, I can do that just by bringing it back up. So it's always running, sitting there in the background when I'm uh, recording music. Okay, so let's talk about the three tabs on the control panel software. So you have your file, this shows three boxes always on top which I have on that's how I have it uh, sound preferences if you click on this it brings all your sound preferences right here okay uh, click it again go to run I have this checked off run on system startup so what that means is when you boost up when you power up your computer this will automatically start running okay uh, then you go to your sample right now. Here, here, this is a configuration tab. This is the important part. So here, you'll be able to change your sample rate. Right now I have it at 96 hertz. Usually when I'm doing videos, I'll have it 441. If I'm uh, recording music in my DAW, doing a song, I usually have it on 192. So for the sake of this video, I have it on 92, 96, sorry. Then you got the help tab. You go to about, shows your current firmware, which I'm using, version 1.3. Check for updates. If you want to check for updates, it brings you the link right here. The link is right there, highlighted in green. Uh, to contact them, you can click on this link. 
and their phone numbers right there, the support phone numbers right here. That is awesome to have. Um, a lot of companies don't do that. I, I find that amazing because you got all three contacts right there. You can get a hold of them, no problem. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and look at the, um, the um, website because I wanted to show you um, a view of everything hooked up. Your keyboards, like if you had keyboards, guitar, headphones, your monitors, everything. And this gives you an idea of how to hook it back up, you know, how to hook it up. So there's the back of the unit, as you can see there, uh, your in and out mini, and I already discussed this before, but I'll go through it real quick. You got one, two, three, four outputs, output jacks for your monitors. You got your 48 uh, phantom power. You got mic one, mic and line one, mic and line two. So you can either plug in mics or line source, like keyboards or whatever. Um, and the sound quality is really, really good. I haven't had any latency, popping, popping sounds. Um, it's been running really, really well. And I like the fact how strong it is. It, it and I mentioned before in the last video, the open box, I like the rubber feet on here. It keeps it on your desk, it doesn't move. So that's really handy. So, so there's the back of it. And here is, I think there's a, a front of it here's the front of it right here as you can see there um, and I'll show you again but on the front you got your uh, oops you got your uh, one and two jacks for your guitar source or bass source or whatever then you have your headphones jack right there so that's handy I like the fact that it's in front and not in the back I like I love the way they did that that's that's really cool so moving on we'll go to the manual and we're gonna I'll show you there is there's the hookup right there so that is a perfect view of what it would look like if you had your left and right monitor your PC or laptop you got your interface in the middle and then on the left <laughs> I couldn't figure out what that was but I know what it is now it's a head headphones amplifier um, you can plug in uh, four headphones that's pretty cool so you can plug that in as well then you got your headphones and then your mic so that's it right there here is the back again uh, just to just to let you know the the Harmony H224 audio interface is equipped with two high quality microphone preamps uh, they're really really good and I've had like I said every time I plug in a passive bass or passive uh, guitar it sounds amazing now I will mention one thing if you're using active electronics make sure that this is engaged because it drops the the uh, it drops the DB down by 10 so and I'll explain that in a second what this button does here it is right here um, button D for channel 1 and channel 2 and it explains right here it basically uh, the pad switches reduce it re switches reduce the incoming signal by 10 dB before transmitted to analog to digital converter. So this may be help helpful in recording situations where the sound source sound source is very hot. So if you have e active electronics, you know damn well the guitar is going to be hot. So I don't record with uh, active pickups I always go passive because of that and it's just a much cleaner sound to me and then it explains what the high pass filter does which is right here as I explained for each channel channel 1 and channel 2 there's pass filter pass filter engaged um, that's it. it explains everything right there so there's the front of it again you got your two uh, instrument jacks uh, these are dedicated instrument jacks and unbalanced connectors and then your headphones jack here's the complete setup with everything that you can possibly have your guitar or, or whatever two guitars headphones your, your PC or laptop your keyboard see how the keyboards is hooked up MIDI in and out so it does have the MIDI jacks and then you have your monitors a pair of monitors you can hook up the four or two pairs of monitors it has your mic there shows mic one mic two phantom power and so and so forth okay 
and that's about it. And honestly, guys, I really think you guys would be pleased with this. I wanted to do an update video letting you, letting you know my opinion after working with this for six, seven months. I'm really digging it. I love this unit. Uh, I used to use this guy, as I mentioned earlier. Um, this one right here. This is the uh, Behringer. This is the uh, UMC 404HD. As you can see there. This is a really good unit too. This has four preamps. So th this is really nice. Um, this has four preamps too, but both of them are really good. Good sound quality, but I've been using this one because it sits right here nicely on my desk. And I like the fact that it has the rubber feet on the bottom. So there you have it guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I gotta go, this video's been long enough. <laughs> So I just wanted to give you another uh, review on the uh, Sterling H224. You can pick this up at Guitar Center. Um, I think it runs like $110 right now. Um, if you want to wait, it'll probably drop in price. But overall, great unit. I, I don't have any complaints. That's it, guys. Take it easy. Have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.